Hello and welcome. My name is Meebliss and this is Literally Graphic. And for this Manga Monday, I will be reviewing the entire series of Gone. Or Gone, or however you pronounce it. Because this is a worthless comic series that is made up of a series of short, unrelated vignettes. And so there isn't, there wouldn't be much point in uh, reviewing each individual story. And it was a fairly quick, though highly enjoyable, enjoyable read. This was another really great recommendation from Manga Hoarder, one of my fe favorite fellow booktubers that you should all definitely check out, though I know I rep every week. <laughs> every time I bring up manga, I rep her, so sorry if this is a bit redundant. And even if you aren't into comics, I would actually also recommend this particular series to anyone who loves nature documentary humor and is, you know, maybe, they, it would be good if you're a little bit open to comics. Of course, I myself have a really hard time watching nature documentaries because you just know that everyone is going to die, but I was still able to enjoy this comic, so even if you have a hard time like me, eh, it's, it's more about the humor. To give a brief synopsis of the premise, Gone is a series of extremely episodic shorts about a tiny T-Rex style creature going up against all sorts of modern wildlife in a human-free world. And while the art could have gone in several different directions, I have to say I'm very impressed and intrigued by the very detailed route Tanaka ends up going in, not only because it's pretty lush and dramatic and everything I love in black and white drawing, but I also really appreciated the contrast it creates with the very whimsical events going on in each of the short stories. This manga is rated T for violence, but as I mentioned earlier, it is fairly on par with most nature documentaries, and the humor and lack of consequences actually makes it much more palatable, at least for me, so minus one very short short where Gon and his menagerie of animals go on a series of mushroom adventures. I would say this uh, series is highly inoffensive. As a wordless comic, one of the most impressive qualities of Gone is his expressiveness. Not totally unsurprising as, you know, wordless comic, but I was extremely impressed with the expressive nature of all the creatures in this series, and as someone who has taken up glaring at cars that enter too closely into my personal space, or at least seem to be threatening to, I, I could really empathize. I really liked how a lot of plots involve Gone really viciously glaring at things. It was, it was really fun. It also doesn't hurt that Gone is an extremely charismatic anti-hero type character that was extremely easy to root for. So a light and fun, if not 100% scientifically accurate. Uh, okay, um, I don't know why I'm here exactly. What's this? Ah, some mangas. Or as I like to call them, mangoes. <laughs> okay, um, seems to be about some cute little dinosaur thing. Because God knows we need more of that from Japan, so let's take a look. I can at least applaud these manga for not being typical Japanese cutesiness. Like, what even is this? Like, it's some hugely scientifically inaccurate baby dinosaur thing. It's a theropod, but it doesn't look like any specific theropod. Like. It looks like a, kind of like a T-Rex, but then maybe like an Allosaurus, but I don't even know if it's a baby at all or whatever. But there's one thing for certain, wherever this gone guy is, he's a complete asshole. Like, really, guys, I read through freaking seven volumes of this, and I couldn't find one story where he didn't seriously destroy something or seriously hurt someone. Is that how low our standards now? That our heroes can do serious damage to everything we'll just love them? <sighs> okay. Yeah, as I said, not 100% scientifically accurate, but I am ultimately surprised that I hadn't heard of this comic before. 
honestly. And bringing it up with a few other people uh, who read manga in my workplace, none of them had heard of it either. So that's, that's pretty fun. I'm glad always to be able to mine my friends for information that I can share with other friends and seem like a smart person who recommends some good books. So, you know, conduit of information. It's definitely a calling for me. If you would like to hear more about manga and comics that are both fun and potentially social justice related um, from an intersectionally feminist lens, then please check out the rest of the videos in my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, share, or not. See you all next time. Bye! And as always, Literally Graphic is recorded on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation and the Anishinaabe people, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron Wendat Nation. I live here because of British colonization, indigenous genocide, and more geographically specific, Treaty 13 also known as the Toronto Purchase, which was finalized in 1805 between representatives of the Crown and certain Mississauga peoples. This treaty was a lie and has since been broken many times over. Saying so reflects only my own small steps towards knowing the truth and does nothing for reconciliation.